Boxing Voice. First, uh, I'd like to thank uh, everyone that spoke earlier about how this fight got put together from the officials and everybody from Atlantic City, um, and also um, the fighters that made this fight happen and the promoters that made this fight happen. So I don't have to go over those names or anything because it's already mentioned two or three times. So, but one thing that I, I want to start off saying is that uh, this is not in the Sinzu book that Kathy Diva, I mean Dufa, not Diva, but Dufa. Uh, the Irish thinks she's Diva. She's in a, she's in a, a sort of called the man sport, but she held her own. So I think out of respect, I call her Diva, but it is Dufa. At the same time, one thing that's not in the Sinzu book, as I should get back to that, um, I was told by a wise lady, Shirley May Hopkins, my mother, late mother, said you never argue or debate with a woman. Some men can concur on that. And so I would not have a cat fight or a dog cat fight with her. But what I would say is this, I think I talked pretty clear for almost 72 fights. When I hear or read or ask a question about you didn't have to take this fight, you could have took any other fight. Have y'all really paid attention to my career? See, I fear Allah. And I respect all religions. But I don't care what politics you might have on your side. I don't care who's sitting at your table, who's not sitting at your table. I went against the grain. Mm -hmm. When you deal with a man, take the champion and put him to the side. And you're dealing with a spirit that I carry with me from personal life to here. All that comes in the ring and it comes together and it comes in my life. An opponent, whoever it is, fast, slick, puncher, no puncher, or all above. You got to face all these intangibles that I bring to the ring. This ain't about just being an athlete, a sport, a boxer, or whatever it is. It's something separate that attached to what I do physically as my occupation, who made me who I am in sports. But as a man and who I am, it's been there from 1965 when I was born January 15th on King's Day. I've been special ever since. And so when I hear this rhetoric and I hear this stuff from Human beings, y'all humans, because you know I'm a, an alien. It doesn't surprise me because I know y'all, y'all don't know me. And that's why the question is, you didn't have to take this fight, why is he here, why is it? Y'all must don't really know me, unless it's a sound bite. Then I can go ahead and give you half of you didn't know. I ain't need 100% to let you off the hook. I want to acknowledge Yuri Foreman, he's a, a good pioneer in boxing in Jersey. Being be disrespectful for me not to, to, to say Hello. salute you. Hello. Also, you have also, as I see, because my eyes are still good, I do scan the floor before I even walked in here. I know the ring like I know this building. Mm. And that's not because I've been here multiple times, just I believe in being very observant. And I believe in looking people in the eye. I believe in looking people from their feet to their head, body language, the whole nine yards. But at the end of the day, Kathy Duva said one thing, and we're all fighting. We understand that. I understand that. War is war. Abel Sanchez, that's why I say my eyes is good. He understands my thinking. He's been there twice. He also had him really early in his career. So anything that he might or might not, I'm not accusing him, can give us some advice. I hope it's a good one. Or he better hope it's a good one. I don't mind pitting my wits with anybody wits in the game of boxing today, because I've been taught and trained by a lot of great fighters, some in the penitentiary, 
the late great Boy Fisher, who probably will never get his due, the Nazine Richardson, who's been with me 20 plus years, the Smokey Wilson, who was my mentor in Greater Fort State Penitentiary. Many of y'all done stories, I'll read your story about him. Mm -hmm. See, I am strange to y'all in a way that not as strange as something strange about me, but y'all are curious about how I can do it, but I'm telling you, I know y'all, y'all just don't know me. And that's cool. John David Jackson says to everybody that he talks to, from my, allegedly, what I've read, he knows everything about him. Well, Kovalev, Sergei is the student. Let's just deal with logic here. This education right now. This ain't rah, rah, rah. I've done that already. I've been through that in my career already. I've been through all this. I'm so calm and relaxed now, but I still got that hunger to prove. I just don't have that stage of fighting the system. See, when people say you fight in Atlantic City, I'm gonna get back to John David Jackson. Mm -hmm. But when people say, well, you fight in Atlantic City, this and that, it's no, there's no favor. It's, it, when people, they try to put this deception in the air. As Sergey said, I just a fair fight. You the crusher, you make your own fair fight. See, that's what I was born for. See, when people try to sit sound bites and into windows and what they call sublines and they try to put seeds out there and I just want to be a fair fight. I'm the crusher. I'm, I'm killing everybody. I'm not paying out, but you know, I just want to see a fair fight. What are you deception you're trying to plant that seed? See, psychological warfare, trust me, you will never win. Love me and hate me, everybody on this side know you would never win that. And this people here know me for over 15 years. So when you want to start dropping seeds, I don't care, Larry can be over there, the president can be over there, Obama can be over there. I don't care who's sitting over there. That's no, that's no, that's no sign to me. You know what that says? See, when Joe Gazaki came from Europe, and they gave him a split decision, and he from Wales, and I'm from the United States, ain't nobody my friend when I step in that ring. I'm in war with everybody. That's the way I think. And if I wasn't right in that thinking, at least 90% or more than 100, a law wouldn't have me here. I wouldn't have been so simple because I'm not that damn lucky. So where did this come from, y'all human beings? Y'all haven't figured it out yet? I'm telling y'all every day. Y'all asking me every day. I have no secrets. I am the cleanest athlete that ever been clean in any other sport that ever been. You go back and look at your old literature that you wrote or the old conversations that we had. There's a lot of people here that have been around and been interviewing me for years. Remind yourself every now and then who you're dealing with. And then you can say, well, I asked you that 15 years ago. So I'm looking for a fight. I'm looking for a fight like I look for every fight. But it amazed me, doesn't disappoint me, he didn't have to take this fight. What you, you think I'm you think I'm a charity case? When I hear this disrespect, see, this sudden, and I hope people know what that means, disrespectful of words. Because words mean a lot. They say a lot of things. You just gotta know what one to pick and what they're attaching it to. I've been wise to figure that out. <laughs> when it comes to this, I don't care anybody in this building will not be fight or no fight. I'm saying it in front of their face. Because I came in here as a man, I came out of here as a man, I'm going to die as a man. When it comes to this, strong willpower and my work ethics and who I believe that got my back, even when y'all run like roaches in y'all little corners and talk amongst y'all political world, he watching you. And I'm going to get you anyway, in time. That's why I've been here. Until y'all understand that, y'all atheists. Until y'all understand that, I'm gonna send y'all to your grave. Because a lot of people, a lot of my niggas been dying the last 15 years. They motivated me so hard to stay on top. They said, when you gonna be motivated now? Yeah, they're, they're, a law are making these people disappear, you know what I'm A law are making them drop dead. Now the teacher knows more about Bernard Hopkins than Bernard Hopkins know, but the teacher flunked the test. John Dick. The teacher, now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming a lot of people here have kids. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, wait, wait a minute. I'm not fighting John. Don't think I'm punch drunk. I'm the 
just trying to make a, I'm just trying to make a, a, a point before I close here because this is so, this is really profoundly ignorant to be able to sit and disrespect your thinking and education to understand that here is a guy, the John David Jackson, right? Uh, you know who who I understand is, and, and really, even even I'm saying this, I I respect that. I'm just made it. I'm just speaking my mind. You take your kids to a school, and your your kid or your kid is smarter than the teacher. Now, how can a teacher teach a student to get AIDS when the teacher got all Fs? <laughs> I just can't. You understand this human thing, this knowledge. Like I don't understand how can a teacher, a teacher teach. A teacher has credibility that follows that teacher, that, that gives that teacher cred. It gives him a resume to say this teacher is qualified to be hired by this entity, this place of fame. And, 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 and the resume says, well, you're a great teacher. Now let's work on your, 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 your package to be here. Sanchez, this man, what, did you show him your tape, John? You ain't show him my fight. If you show him my fight, I'll give everybody money back and we go home. If he showed him, listen, Sir Day, it ain't your fault. <laughs> Trust me. Listen, you're a nice guy. Congratulations on your child. But listen, it, it ain't your, it, not really. It, listen, I'm a, listen. Oh, I got to smell because you talk. Okay, yeah, because I'm talking to you, Fred. That's the Philadelphia thing, we, you know, pop a game. But listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting first for good or bad. I mean, that's just me. So I, I got to say to this guy, because I had nothing to do with Saturday, because I, I got I got to you know, change his diaper. <laughs> <laughs> that probably wasn't a good time. In the but anyway, listen. It ain't his fault. That what's going to happen Saturday, it ain't his fault. It's really it ain't his fault. Because he want to do what every fighter and athlete wants to do. You want to put the best up against the best. Hey, every athlete that I ran into, from basketball player to football player, they want to be, they want to fight the best. They want to, I'm not going to be in this game fighting nobody, y'all. What's the purpose? So are you surprised that I took this fight? You crazy? You know me for real? But it ain't his fault. You got to blame John on this one, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. You, someone dumb cannot sit there and teach somebody how to be smart. <laughs> the person that's smart got to see that person that's being dumb to know that I'm not going to do that. How are you going to teach? Because if the person don't know, how are you going to teach the smart person what not to do? So the smart person, or at least got a little bit more sense than him, has to observe and see. I guarantee you John kept that tape of me and him when my, I think John was my 10th defense. I guarantee you, survey gonna get him in the hotel room and we're gonna be reading headlines tomorrow because you're gonna tell him, why ain't you show me that tape? <laughs> <laughs> See, John ain't really told me, say, well, before, you know, it was a big thing, I wasn't really ready. But when, John, when, when, when Sergey, because he seemed to be a little bright, he would have go back to the hotel, but save that for Saturday. I don't need you to waste no energy. You look kind of dry up like a raisin. I don't want you to get out. I want you to be strong. We don't want no excuse. Get John after, get John after, I know, get John next week. Because that's his fault. I like to think, I like to, okay, I like to think, I like, I got it. Well, he deserved one, y'all. You gotta give him one laugh. Come on, now, little man. I don't want to sack a bully, so go laugh. Because he needs more laugh. I don't want to sack a bully. Give him one laugh. You say it was funny. What? Seriously. Well, thanks for coming. I know it's not over. I took it up time. I gotta carry the show. But at the end of the day, I just want to hit some bulletin points that seems um, accurate to do, and to let y'all know I don't look for favors from nobody. Even if I was living in, fighting in Philadelphia. I gave y'all the reason why. I don't look for nobody to do nothing for me in this business. I don't wish against the grain from day one in this business, and everybody know. That's one thing we can't dispute. 
So I don't look for no favors. So whether Larry is the commissioner or not the commissioner, it doesn't matter. I don't fight on favors. Mm -hmm. I look for it be, matter of fact, I, I'm worried more, probably should be worried, well, not worried, worried, but I should be worried more now than ever. See, I understand the art of Susan. <laughs> so if I had any, any, which is impossible for me to have, I'm gonna let you know, impossible, to have any kind of question of suspicious, you know, they call me paranoid too over the years, then this really upped my game up. You know, this is the right timing, it could have been the right timing, but I believe in divine order. I believe in divine order. I believe when, 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 when you know, they, a lot of people will be kissing Larry Asser ass, they'll be kissing him out too, so get used to him, Mr. Asser. <laughs> they will be kissing his ass because he's back now. Right? Right? They ain't hear from him in 2006 or seven. Dragged him out of the office, threw him out of his boxes, papers there he went. So, 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 don't, don't, don't be alarmed, y'all, when, 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 when you start seeing these things and everybody opening their mouth for the microphone is gonna, gonna get a man praises, which he truly deserves, but it's a reason behind the praise. Trust me, I know. Thanks for being patient. Watch Sinzu come Saturday. Watch God in the ring itself working through me to be able to upset the apple cart and send the atheists back and they hold what they deserve. <laughs>